All right, this is a test run of the, what's this dude called? Insta 300 Flow. All right, here we go. Alley Alley Gumdrop. Well, there's, there's Lila Bell. Hi, Lila Bell. Hey, baby. Hey, Lila. And we got Alley. Alley, 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 gumdrop. Yeah. Right. So we're going to see how this thing goes. Been rebuilding on a little old trailer here. Bought it new. 2007. First year of Mad Ox construction. Get all new deck. Got to go through all the bearings and the suspension. I'll tell y'all what. That is a good dog right there. And that's a babysitter. Tyler Bell, babysitter. Alright. I did not download the app. It's not compatible with this phone. I did find out you don't have to have the app because she's got extra stuff that ain't smart enough to do anyway. So what made me buy this is walking around a lot of bump in the pictures the videos rather rebuild the rams on a backhoe here I had to get another pin so we're waiting on him to come in should be in shortly And just trying to take some pictures of the place up country there. Calling it Willy Nilly Farms. Because everything's all willy nilly. Peppa. Peppa. Come say hi, Peppa. 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 The Winchester. Rooster's crowing. Goats are coming. Come on, kids. Come on, kids. There's Winchester. Oh, Winchester. Winchester. Come on, kids. It's raining a little bit. Kids. All right, we'll do a walk through. They don't want to get in the rain. Come on, Allie. Come on, Allie. There's, I call him Fat Daddy. Fat Daddy. Hey, old Fat Daddy. Here come Peppa. 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 Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. That's the next one going on the grill right there. Hey, purple. Hey, purple. Hey, purple. Fat Daddy showing some interest there. Walk and look at the chickens and the kids. Hey, kids. Hey, kids. I believe this thing's gonna work out. Most reviews were pretty good on it. Insta 360. There's one guy that talked some trash on it. But the one he was uh, advertising, it had its own set of other problems. Them... Oh wow, this thing getting crazy with me. Trying to figure this thing out. There we go. Let's say, pull this thing out a little bit of a selfie stick somehow. Let's turn it one way or another. I don't know how this thing works. There we go. 
All right, so here you are full of goats. A little bit of pressure on them. Get some shot of them jumping up and down. That's snow. Tina calls her snow. These old office desks give them something to play on. That's good. Allie, Allie right there with me. That Allie had a gumdrop. Well, they call them coon coon, but some of them is mixed up with his julienne. Tell y'all what, y'all ever seen an ugly hog before? Them julienne's got it. That is some ugly hog. Got a barn full of chickens over here. Ain't no telling what they got going on. Ain't no telling. be a full-blooded Nubian there. She's gonna have a baby, first baby. Still a young doling. Doling, I learned a new word. <laughs> All right. If I knew how to push balls, I'd do that, but I don't. Maybe that'll come in time. Winchester, kennel, kennel, come on Ruger, uh-uh, back nanny. Alley, alley, come on. That's Colt, call him three guns, Colt, Winchester, and Ruger. Come on Alley, Alley. Come on. Good girl. Ruger, you want to come back out? Come on, Ruger. Come on, Ruger. Come on, Ruger. Back up, girl. Come on, Ruger. Come on, Ruger. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh. Come on, boys. Back. 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 Well, we swapped two for one. Just how it's going to be. All right, I'm gonna push piles here for just a second. We'll get right back with you. All right, back from piles, we had to load up some lift arms for a tractor and go through a few gates. And I don't know how ginger this device is, but. I may have already fouled it up. Oh, there it goes. Maybe not. All right, let's go for a little ride. recently learned there's a such thing as camera stabilization. We're trying to do some little videos. We got a bump in the 
like when you're moving the camera around, they didn't really like it. Oh, it makes you dizzy. There's supposed to be seven of these calves. One's at the neighbor's. I see six. She don't get some back right. She'll be like the last one. She'll be sold. Pretty little white thing there. He's a he's a steer. And that's two year old steer. He's gonna go in the freezer about August September. Yeah, I'm playing with this thing a little bit, see what see what it's about. M and B Services of Texas is buying a new skid steer for their rental fleet. I wanted to get some good footage of it working on the other property. I wanted to try to familiarize ourselves with this apparatus, Insta360, made in China, not China, Texas. It's across the pond, China. CNC Equipment has a really remarkable YouTube channel. I enjoy it because I like working on junk. And he's very knowledgeable and shares his knowledge and He's got some kind of apparatus he's always holding to the videos. A little bit of research, find this thing, and then D-Boss Garage up there in Canada. Really like old D-Boss Garage, and he's the uh, same way, informative, fun, fun to listen to. Boy, if, uh, if we all had it like that, it'd be a happy place. I'm going to share with y'all a little story. It's been heavy on my heart. Recently... Ken to Ken passed away. The lady was 90 years old. And through the funeral service, beautiful funeral, I come to realize some things. Biblically, in the Bible, God's Word tells us if you're given much, much is going to be required of you. I'm not talking about money here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about 90 years on this green earth, even though we had a drought last year. I'm talking about the ability and willingness to minister to others and just have a good human nature about you. I'm talking about family, kids, grandkids, great grandkids. The woman was given much. And what she was given financially, she gave back. So during the funeral, I edited this a little bit, but this saying really stuck with me. This is this is Thursday. The funeral was on Monday. Here goes. Do not strive for perfection. Instead, strive to be faithful. We would all be lying to ourselves if we did not admit that we all go through things from time to time. Actually, that white one's not a steer. That's that little steer. Pretty little joker. We all go through struggles. We all go through things in life. 
We don't need to strive to be perfect. If you think you're perfect, go look in the mirror. You're your own worst critic. You can find something wrong with you before I can find something wrong with you. Not for me to judge. I mean, just look at yourself. If we strive to be faithful, we're going to be a lot better off. I'm talking about faithful, not only to, to mankind, but to our Creator. John 14, 6. Jesus said, red letters, King James, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The first half of, I said Luke, John chapter 14, verse 6. The first half of John 14 has really been on my heart a lot the last month or so. And it keeps coming back. It keeps coming back. Those first few verses are so, look how comfortable she is. Just lay down right there. Let's fill the first few verses. I'm, I'm not going to try to quote them. But look it up. Book of John, chapter 14. If you happen to watch this video, you are one of the ones that's given one more day on this earth. Why? Why are you here? Time to time to do what you're supposed to be doing. What are you supposed to be doing? I'm not going to answer these questions for you. Y'all want you dig deep. You dig deep. You answer those questions. What are you supposed to be doing? Where are you at? Are you doing it? Don't try to do it perfect. Just be faithful. Do not strive for perfection. Instead, strive to be faithful with your time. You know, a lot of people get crossways with the church. All they want is money. Your time, yes, your monies, the way you treat others, the way you live your life. There's a lot to it. I, I, I can't even begin to go through the list of things. But it's time. Ladies and gentlemen, you got one more chance. You're not you're not guaranteed tomorrow. You're not guaranteed lunch today. I'm not gonna be able to verse. I'm not gonna be able to quote this out just just like it says. But uh, I see a weak gate latch over there. If you deny me before men, I'll deny you before my Father. Something like that Jesus says somewhere in the Bible. We don't need to deny Christ. We don't want Him denying us. This little handheld device here, I keep thinking up is down and down is up. That might come from that Dan 25 ton, everything backwards. <laughs> I'm thinking backwards here right now. I need to do something with these flies. Do something with these flies on these gals. Extend this stick, stick out a little bit and see if it does anything. See if we can get it up close. Boy, you look like, I bet I know who your mama is. I like animals not quite as much as Tina. I tell you, I really enjoy cows.
I don't know where that other calf is when they replace them. That's the same one that was laying down a while ago. We're laying down a lot right now. You alright, Heifer? What have you been given in life? You have a talent? Yeah, we all got a talent, whatever it is. What are we using it for? Supposed to be honor and glory. Of the one that's allowed us to have another day. I come up this hill the other day on that side by side. Pretty steep little hill there. Hey, cow. Woo. 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 Walk over and check this gate. It looked a little weak to me. That's what ryegrass do to cows right there. In that energy, make them look good. Look at that posture of acting like a bull. You're not a bull. Willy nilly farms. Woo woo! Haven't met Woo Woo yet. Name's A Bear. He's gonna be a Louisiana dog. His name was Bear, but he's gonna be a Louisiana dog. So he gotta be a Louisiana name. So Woo Woo came into play. Uh, A Bear, rather. And he wanna go woo 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 at you, woo woo woo. So here come the nickname Woo Woo. Alright folks, y'all don't want to see me argue with this gate. It don't look very healthy, so I'm going to retire that. Be back. Alright. Got the gate repaired. Tied up a little better. It looks better to me. Alright. Thought I had tying up that gate. Where does your faith come from where does your happiness come from why are you here why haven't you been like your friend your family member that's already passed away going on before us do you think about it do you think about stopping and tasting the berries Well, Tina been doing some studying. I don't remember what we call this weed. It's old weed, right? It's actually got a purpose. So do you. I mean, this, uh, I can't say big words. Ain't no sense in trying. If you're sick, it might help you with something. And that was another thought I had on the way home from work this morning, working night shift. So, I cannot say big words. We look at the people that were used in the Bible. Huh. Back to don't strive to be perfect. None of them jokers was perfect. Apostle Paul, I don't know what a red berry tastes like. I don't think it's ripe. Pretty bitter. Apostle Paul <clears throat> murdered Christians. 
Jesus got a hold of them. God, whatever. Again, I'm illiterate. But I know the moral of the story. It got right. Never looked back. Previous video, we prepared a prepared that all bar gap up ahead. We we'll back over here. <clears throat> I don't know. I probably hard to push pause right now, but I'm gonna go back and watch this video before I put it on Willy Nilly Farms YouTube and see what I think about the review of the Insta 360 without the app, without looking at anything on it, just plugging it in and start using it in whatever mode it was set on. Talked to a man on the way in I never met before, but I know his dad and I call him my friend. I saw him out on his new place, stopped and visited with him. Mighty sure glad I did. Jump back over his M and B services of Texas going to pick up a brand new, probably gonna get this wrong too, Kubota skid steer SVL 75-3, new for this year model from dash two to dash three. Year 2024, we're going to be cutting some six inch and under saplings and cut them. And in the center of that brush cutter, got four knives on it, high flow. And in the center, has got some carbide teeth to go ahead and grind that stump. Let Allie run off the coat. back later so maybe this Thursday go pick it up tomorrow maybe Monday or Tuesday we'll run up there that's what I'm doing today gonna try to prepare that machine that that apparatus is not gonna grind the tree so what I needed to do is to have the grapple on the back of where I can pick up the trees I mentioned earlier in this video reworking that 20 foot Bobcat special trailer bought new in 2007 Here's that CCA treated wood that's supposed to last forever. This ain't your lumber yard stuff. It's like the old green telephone poles they had. Dollar fifty a foot for two by six. Somebody told me where I get them cheaper. I need some more. Dollar fifty a foot for CCA, some kind of arsenic treated something. All right, I need to step off this trailer here. Twelve foot, fourteen foot. Let's see. I need to take it, bring that tractor over here and measure off of that. That's what we need to do. Got ahead of myself for a little bit. All right, push and pause. Kubota M59, that's a stout little old rig. Nothing like a big John Deere. 510, but it's versatile. Got that backhoe. We looked at the we looked at the backhoe part of it earlier. What I like about this machine is versatile. I just I just said that. So you put your lift arms on it or your backhoe. It's got the bobcat quick connect up front. Hydraulics remotes on the front for your grapple. Here's the lift arms. I'll be putting them on. Not like Mr. CNC equipment over there, where he can hold a selfie stick with one hand and work with the other. That takes some talent there, I reckon. What we're gonna do though, is take this tractor and go over there, measure the length of that trailer, and see if I think I can get the tractor on the trailer. With that buggy, I'll step that buggy off about 14 foot. And the track is going to be a little bit loud. We're still going to go for a ride. 
All right, operator's cab. Fully hydraulic, hydrostatic, forward, backward. Thought I wouldn't like it. They say Japan been doing that forever. Japan got their hydraulics and their electronics down pat. Really shows on them cranes. AKA Tadano. Yeah, right, here it goes. Gonna be loud. Or let it warm up a little bit, let the flow start. No, it don't get no. It does not get in. See that? It's a special treatment, is what I'm trying to say. trying to figure out this thing will fit don't walk under the boom of anything never walk under the boom <laughs> all right so if that's lined out i flip the ramps up and set the bucket down on the ramps since i'm still waiting on my pin can't have the back of attachment so i'll put the box blade on here for a counterweight let's say this is going to be back of the tractor box blade about let's just say there that don't look like 14 foot to me this thing's kind of silly let's step it off three six nine nine foot if I turn it around the other way it's going to be the same thing we're short three Six. Now, anybody got a good 40 foot farm trailer they want to sell? 30 sometimes. Most of the time it's perfect. Sometimes it's a little short. <sighs> Has it grown any? Let's see. Six. Twelve. 13, 14. Does not have room for the box blade. Buggy, tractor, loader, no box blade. Right. Do not ever walk under the boom. That piece of equipment. Especially if you don't know Jesus. Come on. M59. TLB, tractor loader backhoe. Been mowing houses behind one of them floods. About them. McLaurin, no flat tires. They're good for not going flat. They're heavy. They're just maybe three quarter inch more narrow than the than the tires that came on it. And these treads are deeper, so the displacement of the ground is less. More, more ground bearing pressure because these lugs have half the displacement. The other ones, the lugs are not that deep and it's a little bit wider. We shove these through the earth pretty quick. Oh, I don't know what that loader's rated for, but 2,500 pound sack of feed with a backhoe attachment as a counterweight handles it very, very well. No problem. They probably do 3,000, getting a little bit tipsy. Say it's time to push balls again. No, uh-uh. Go with me. Go with me on this for a minute.
Every time I try to do something one handed, I'm thinking about old CNC equipment. the lift arm. I'll show y'all them hooked up after we hook them up. Not even trying it one hand. We'll explain it though. Simply 14 millimeter wrench, two pins here. That's where the base of the lift arms go. Top link, top section. They call this the top link third point. We won't be using the hydraulic hoses as for the back hose. On the back hole, cradle it here and there. Adjust your outriggers, hook your hoses up, adjust your outriggers, your boom, crowd, bucket. Get these pins in, reverse the flow here. That allows flow to come out here. Have your lift in the bottom position. Right now, we're going to put on the lift arms, take a short recess. We'll drop this trailer go out there and hook up the box blade and bring it back out bring all this stuff out at one time less gate stuff all right time out Nope, looks like we're live again. I don't know what I did to make it live again. Let's see if it'll see if it'll get sideways again. There we go. Alright. 